to connect your web help desk to Azure AD, you need to make sure that you've got a certificate on your web help desk. We then go to authentication, change that to SAML 2.0. So this is where we basically enter the um, Azure details sign in page and where we upload the certificate. Okay, so now in Azure, we can go to the Active Directory. You can either click the Add button there, or you can just click uh, or go to the Enterprise Applications and hit New Application. Create your own application. Let's call it Web Help Desk. Okay, integrate any other application you don't find in the gallery. Yeah, you just use the third option there. Hit create. Okay, so now we've got web help desk application here in your Azure. Click the single sign on button, hit SAML. Then let's configure the basic configuration here. First we need to, basically this is the URL. Web help desk URL that you need to put in there. Uh, reply URL will be, uh, let me just double check, it will be the same. Yep. Let's just write URL there. And then that's it. Hit save. Okay, so that's done now. Next is we'll need to change the unique identifier here or unique user identifier. So if I edit that user principal name, let's just use, let's change that to uh, user dot primary email. Yeah, on there. Save. There you go. So that's done. Let's go back to the application. Copy the login URL from here. Put that in there. Upload the certificate. Okay. Now let's hit save. And that should be it. Try logging in now. Let's... There you go. 